हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ हिस्टोग्राम सो अप टिल नाउ यू हैड नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब सो दैट आई कैन ब्रिंग मोर सच वीडियोस फॉर यू नाउ हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ हिस्टोग्राम लुक हियर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी द क्लास एंड देन द फ्रीक्वेंसी एवरी टाइम वी स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज द class interval between them and what is the starting point that we have to keep in mind then class is always on the x axis i am drawing with the help of pen you have to use every time pencil only here i am using pen because uh if i will draw with pencil it is little bit lighter and you will not be able to see it. so i am trying to draw this graph with the help of pen but you have to use pencil only keep in mind this this is our x axis and here we will get a y axis you can see this is this was our x axis okay this is x axis and this is y axis and where both the axis are intersecting that is our origin you can call it o or you can say zero also now look at the first class interval this is 50 we have to start with zero so if i will start here 50 60 70 80 then what about 10 20 and 30 so first we have to either use as zigzag sign it is also called zigzag it is also called spring also so the data or so, so the numbers 10 20 30 and 40 are inside this now we have to start with the first interval always remember class on the x axis and frequency on y axis now we have to start with 50 i am starting here 50 60 70 80 90 100 and 110 now here look here 60 is the ending and lower limit or you can say and sorry upper limit lower limit is 50 and here also the here upper limit is 60 and here lower limit is 60 this data are called continuous class if here 50 to 59 60 to 69 70 is it is given like that then first we have to make the class continuous by subtracting 0.5 from the lower limit and adding 0.5 in the upper limit so the class will become continuous here we can see that the ending point of one class will be starting point of the second class look here we will start with 50 and it will end here now i will tell you later now look here the frequency we have to see the highest frequency it is said so directly we know that we can take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 but if here we are getting big numbers like 50 60 70 80 10 then what we can take gap of 10 also sometimes we can take gap of 2 also or 5 also but you we have to keep in mind the gap should be factors of 10 only why because in this box we will get 10 small boxes so it can be 1 or the gap can be of 2 or five you cannot take of 3 4 6 7 8 or 9 we have to keep in mind that i had seen students are taking 4 8 12 you cannot because you cannot divide this 10 boxes into 4 so here the dead frequency is very less so we will take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now we know i s frequency is 8 so up till 8 we take now from first we have to take 50 to 60 gives you 30 3 sorry so we will draw with the help of scale up to 3 we had done this now i will join this look this is our first bar you can say now first point ending or first class ending will be the starting point of second bar 
I told you previously also that you the classes should be continuous. If they are not continuous, then we have to make them continuous. Now from 60 to 70, they had given us frequency 5. So we have to increase it. I am doing directly. You have to use scale. I am not comfortable with the scale here. Look, this is 5. You can, if you want to write, you can write down the frequency above it. If you want to or it is not compulsory. Now 7. So here you can see 7. Then 8. So again here it's 7. Now you have to increase. This will be your 8. Then 4. So you have to join here. This will be your 4. And the last is 2. So you can do it like this. This will be 4 and this will be 2. So this way you can draw any histogram. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos. Thank you so much.